Hi, welcome to Spring course from Wait to Learn. Do you want to learn Spring in depth? Do you want to understand what is happening in the background when you are using Spring? Do you want to learn Spring internals? Yes, you are at the right place. There are a lot of videos online which teach you Spring, but what is the difference between our tutorial and the online tutorials are you not fed up by using by seeing some basic examples hello world examples do you want to learn spring using some practical real examples instead of using simple examples yes in way to learn we deliver all the concepts using practical examples You'll really have a feeling of working on a good example. This course will be 50% of theory and 50% of hands-on. For each and every topic, you'll be having a exercise. You'll be working on lab exercise. How to work on the lab exercises? A detailed documentation will be provided to you. For each and everything, a documentation like this will be given to you, where you have to follow the instructions given in this document and complete the exercise. As you can see, I will be sharing this workspace with you. Whenever uh, you are working on any uh, lab exercise, a solution is provided to you as well as a start project also is provided to you. You should not see the solution initially. You should start working on start project by following the instructions. If you are stuck at any point, then you can refer to the solution. Mostly, if you see my video and start working on start project, you won't get any doubts. If you have any doubts, you can always refer back to the videos. Throughout the course, we'll be working on a sample of one use case. I'll be demonstrating that use case with Spring and without Spring gradually will use all the features in the same use case so that by the end of the course you'll get a real feeling of working on a good application. Let me brief you about the agenda for this course. First, I assume that uh, participants who are listening are zero in Spring. If you are having any experience on Spring, definitely you will be understanding the concepts in detail you'll be understanding what is going on in the background. So we'll start with Spring Basics. Uh, we'll see what is Spring and why Spring. And I'll just tell you about what is a dependency injection. Then uh, you'll be going through an application without Spring. We'll see the problems you'll be facing without Spring. Then I'll introduce you to dependency injection and we'll do the same application using Spring and also using constructor injection and setter injection. Then coming to the best practices, I'll talk about all the best practices as well. Uh, we'll understand that writing your configuration into a single file is not good and I'll show you how to split your configuration into multiple XML files. Then we'll be working on an example lab. I'll talk about various scopes available for beans in Spring and also what are C and P namespaces? Then you'll be working on an exercise on C and P namespaces. Coming to best practices again, it is always good to externalize your configuration to a dot properties file. We'll see advantages and disadvantages of this approach. Then after this externalization, I'll talk about uh, what are bean factory post processes, and you'll be working on a lab using externalizing of properties. Then I'll introduce you to bean definition inheritance and you'll be working on, working on exercise. I'll show you how to inject collection of dependencies. Then we'll see what are factory beans in spring, a very important thing. And what are uh, custom, how to write our own custom factory bean. By this time, you might have done all the basics on spring and uh, I'll talk I'll go through the life cycle of beans in spring 
once you are comfortable with life cycle you will be understanding a lot of internals then i'll take you through spring expression language we'll see various examples on spring expression language then i'll talk about annotation based dependency injection how to apply the same concepts whatever we have learnt using annotation based dependency injection i'll introduce you to all these annotations and you'll be working on a lab I'll introduce you to what is a Java configuration. I'll use all these annotations. We'll be working on a lab using Java configurations. Then we'll be seeing what are profiles, how to activate profiles, how to do integration testing with Spring, and we'll learn concepts around this testing. Finally, we'll be working on an exercise on testing spring application using profiles then comes a very important thing spring got a new future in spring you will be going into details of spring boot in detail what is happening in the background when are you use a small annotation as well everything you'll understand in detail you'll become very confident on boot after this module then you'll be working on spring boot here you will be applying all the concepts whatever you have learnt till now using boot. So that comes to the end of the basics of Spring. Then we will see how to uh, use Spring support for JDBC. I will be discussing about various use cases on JDBC template. Then comes the important topic AOP. I will be discussing upon uh, how to implement caching. A use case without proxy and also with proxy. I will show you how to create your own proxies using JDK. Then we will be writing our own proxy factory bin using Spring. We will be working on a lab exercise on implementing caching using our custom proxy. Then I will introduce you to what are cross cutting concerns, different types of advices and we will be implementing an around advice uh, without annotations. Then we will see what are join points, point cuts and advisors and I will show you how to apply these point cuts, how to write various point cut expressions and you will be working on a lab on how to create automatic proxies. Then comes the AOP using annotations, I will show you all the concepts whatever you have learned till now using annotations. And also we'll be seeing about AOP using XML, how to create named point cards, what are context selecting point cards, all these advanced features and finally we'll be implementing various advices as a lab exercise. Then I'll talk about transaction management in Spring in detail. What if you are not using Spring support for transaction management and what if you are using it, what are the advantages. I'll introduce you to various transaction managers. I'll show you clearly on how to do transaction management using programmatic approach, annotation based approach, as well as XML driven transactions. And finally, we'll be working on a lab exercise. So these are the agenda for Spring Basics. And there'll be one more course called as Spring MVC, where we'll be discussing about a Spring MVC and there is one more module where I will be discussing about all the advanced spring concepts. See you in next video where I will introduce you to spring. Hope you have understood the agenda clearly. See you in next video.